Uh, welcome to an Innistrad draft. I uh, love this format and there is a pretty big chance I'm gonna try to play spider spawning but you should probably look up spider spawning right now if you don't know what it does but it is a card that makes spiders for four and a green for every creature card in your graveyard. The problem with the deck is that the deck has to be open because if you don't get a spider spawning your deck doesn't work so it's pretty risky to build a deck around a card that might not even show up. So if I wanted to force spider spawning I should take dark thicket wolf. It's a pre extremely solid creature 2-2 two, two for 2 that gets pumped but this rare is ridiculous so while I might still go spider spawning the angel is insane. It's a 4-4 four, four flyer that brings back spirits and there is a pretty large amount of spirits in this format that are white. We have a 2 free uh, vanilla, 2-3 two, uh, two vanilla uh, flyer for 3 mana, chapel geist and we have a uh, voiceless spirit 2-1 first strike and there are some blue ones as well. So it's a 4-4 four, four fly with upside and that's insane. White is also a pretty strong color so we may not play spider spawning after all which makes me a little bit sad since there are three pretty good cards for the spider spawning deck. We have um, the ranged assistant, mills one and taps for mana, forbidden alchemy and naught to the bone. Best card in the pack in a vacuum is victim of night. I don't love white black though, there are no lingering souls. So I think I'm actually going to take uh, a card that's both decent in white, blue and good in spider spawning and that is the ranged assistant. I think if I was gonna go spiders Forbidden Alchemy is a little better but um, assistant it's, it's better if I go blue white because you can you have use for a uh, mana dork that also can mill you feeling of dread and if you go blue white you can't flashback alchemy it becomes pretty bad so I'm gonna take the ranged assistant even a victim of night is a better card because I don't like black white too much there is spider spawning okay so I guess I just gonna have to forget about this angel because this card is not only very powerful it's probably the best deck in the format it's also the most fun. So if I could wield this guy it would be insane. This is one of the best cards for the entire deck because it's a creature. You want a lot of creatures in your deck and it also mills you four. So it's both good when you mill it and it mills four cards pretty good. I'm gonna move in on spider spawning now because if, if you get a spider spawning your deck becomes a hundred times better. Well if you don't have it your, de your deck doesn't work. Here's the spirit I was talking about flying first strike. I'm gonna take Festerhide board, it's an okay guy. Free free trample with morbid and the thing you have to know about morbid is when people don't know this format, like when you have a flashback draft, people tend to walk into Festerhide board more often than not. But when Innocent was the actual draft format, uh, people played around fast ride board pretty much so the card got much worse then but it's much better when people don't know about it and for some reason there is a falcon rat noble in this pack this card is insanely good I'm gonna take mulch it's not I much rather have armored scab than mulch but it's okay it helps you find your swamp because you want to play one or two black sources for spider spawn preferably two because if you mill it, it's pretty bad. And the mulch has the advantage that you can't mill your black source because you get the lands. It's also, I mean, black seems open, but spider seems reasonably open too. And this pack is not good. Black continues to be open. I wonder if I want to splash this card. I will see. If I get like a. Um, I don't know, I can't get a, a check land because both there are no allied check lands, so I'm gonna take Kinder Catch just because it's a creature. I mean black is obviously open but you have to be blue blue green to play spiders, so I'm 
And, I, and, and it's worth noting that I got Spider 23rd pick. I mean, if you get a second pick, someone might have taken an insane rare like Liliana and Stamp Cross and still go Spider Spawning. But if I get Spider Spawning 3rd pick, the, the deck should be open. And I don't I don't love Kinder Catch, but it's okay. Here, I'm gonna take Ghoul Caller Spell. I'm not, I don't love the card, but um, if I don't get enough enablers, yeah, it works. The problem I have with the card is that it does nothing on its own and it's not a creature. I'm not sure I have cards that are creatures, but... Well, if you can't get anything else, this works. And I'll take the foil one. Because someone might want to pimp their uh, modern deck. Okay, so I can take another Mulch or a Stitch Drake. I don't love Stitch Drake in this kind of deck because you don't want to excite... Uh, cards from your yard, and I don't want to play too many mulches. So I think we're gonna take Orchard Spirit, it's a solid creature, and it's a creature. You know, I want creatures in my yard to mill, so I could take Mulch just to cut off uh, the spider spawning deck to show my neighbor it is not open, but I don't know. We got a mulch anyway, so I'm happy. I don't want to play three mulch, two, it's the absolute maximum. And I want to pick up a naturalize for my sideboard so I can kill the Curse of Death Soul or Curse of Oblivion or annoying stuff like that. And for Bitten Alchemy Wield, that is fantastic for me. I would like to uh, get more creatures, which is one of the reasons I took Orchard Spirit. Because you want to have 14, at least 15 creatures in your deck, so your spider spawning gets you a lot of value. But for Bitten Alchemy, Reading that is fantastic, it means that no one else is probably playing this deck. Purify the Grave is an annoying card against me, but I'm not gonna hate draft when I can take a very good card from my deck. Okay, Spidery Grasp is not what this deck wants to play. This deck wants to play creatures and enablers. So, but I'm not scared of. Uh, Selfless Guitar could be annoying, so I'm gonna take it. And uh, this card could randomly mill me out. I mean, Graveyard Charlotte is a very bad sideboard card. It's super slow, so I'm not scared of it at all. I'm gonna take Trepanation Blade because it can sometimes just mill you out. Especially since I'm gonna mill myself a lot. Uh, take a random creature. It's probably better than Kinder Catch, so. So this deck is sweet. I'm looking for uh, Armored Scabs or the. One of the best commons you can get in the deck. You can also play Delver in this deck, which is sweet. I'm also maybe looking for Laboratory Maniac or Memories Journey Runic Repetition. Uh, Silent Departure is okay too. And Dark Figured Wolf is very good. I have four enablers right now. The Range Assistant is a sweet enabler. That was not the card I wanted to open. This is very bad for me. I have no cards I want to play. Bloodline Keeper is an insane bomb, but I can't play it. If I had drafted correctly, I could have... Uh, I mean, I'm not saying I have drafted bad, but uh, I wanted to play Spider Spawn. But this card, I'm gonna take this card because it's the best card in the format. Maybe Olivia is a little bit better. But I'm gonna take it. Maybe I will play it. Probably not. Well, so Forbidden Alchemy is a good enabler. I'm gonna move this to the sideboard. And I think if I take Forbidden Alchemy, I don't no longer have to play a good color spell. So Rolling Timber is annoying. It actually deals with both halves of the spider spawn. But I like Forbidden Alchemy. I would like some more creatures, but it's fine. And Armored Scab, fantastic. This is card is so good in this deck. As I already said, it's a creature and you mill it, but it also mills you four cards, and it blocks everything, almost everything. For Alchemy, I already had two, so not looking for that. Stitches Apprentice is good. Battleground Grounds is also decent because it's a uh, creature. But this is going fine. I would like to maybe pick up a Shimmering Grotto, so I could have Play one Swamp and one Shimmering Grotto. Sometimes you can get the uh, Woodland Cemetery. And it's the 
green black uh, check land so uh, that's sweet if you can get it but it's looking fine um, I have as many marches as I want I don't want any more I have a deranged assistant so wow well this is not great I don't want to play unburial rights because black is a splash color and I want to play another color. I'm gonna take runic repetition because sometimes you can get the memories journey runic repetition loop basically you mill your entire deck and then you get to shuffle back some cards and then you get memories journey back that way you can never get decked and then you get back spider spawn so I'm gonna take this and I don't know if I'm gonna play it but depends Grave Bramble is also playable in the deck, but I think I can get Grave Bramble later. So I'm gonna take Galvanic Juggernaut, it's a solid creature, doesn't untap, but a lot of times things are dying, so I'm a little scared of all this dissipates. I don't like to have my spider spawn dissipated, but what are you gonna do? I need creatures and Galvanic Juggernaut is a good creature, so I'm gonna take it and I'm up to seven creatures. So I have seven creatures and six spells. Which makes me not have that much more room for spells. And I would like to replace Kinder Catch with a creature. This creature is not playable in my deck, but it's the best creature in the format, almost. Maybe Olivia. Olivia is harder to cast, and you have to play a red black. Not that red black is bad, but it's pretty. I don't like red black too much. You have to play an aggressive deck, and you can never beat spider spawning unless you get sever the bloodline. Ooh, self of occultist. That is a great card. It's a creature, and it mills. So it's basically it's a little worse than armored scab because you can't sometimes guarantee that you will mill four cards. But sometimes self of a cult is when you create a lot of spiders, you can start mill your opponent. So that's kind of sweet. So once you uh, have your graveyard stocked up, you start milling your opponent for every spider that dies, and then you can mill them out. I like One-Eyed Scarecrow too, it blocks Intimidate guys, which is important. But like for this guy, I lost to... I had a spider spawning deck today where I my opponent curved turn to Spectral Rider into turn 3 Spectral Rider. So I think I'm gonna cut this card. You can get Grey Brambles later. So that card is very annoying. The so power level of Innistrad is very large. So this I could take Rune Chantress Pike. It's not terrible in my deck since I mill myself too much. I could also hate draft Curse of the Bloody Tome. But this card it's kind of interesting. You don't normally want to play, but it's gonna be pretty good in my deck. I'm gonna take it and maybe play it. We'll see. You don't generally have room for too much discards. Okay, so I'm just gonna hope that no one is on the mill deck because Grey Bramble is a creature and it's decent. So I'm gonna take it. Guess I'll take another spider and alchemy. I think I'd rather have Stitcher's Apprentice since I already have two Forbidden Alchemy. And this is a solid creature. It combines pretty well with um, Self Occultist too. So pretty sure no one else is on this deck. I can have a Green Bramble. So I'm not gonna play Runic Repetition unless I get a. Uh, um, Memories journey. Oh, I'm gonna cut this card. This could be very annoying if someone tries to mill me out. More of the mire, someone can uh, take my black source and destroy it. That would make me sad. And this is a card I've underrated when I first played the format back in 2011. But now I think this guy does a ton of work. He uh, can, if you have a, if your opponent has a large creature that does not have any evasion, you can just block and then you create a 2-2 two -two. and then you block again and again and again. Alright, I'm gonna take Civilized Scholar. The card is very good in this deck. 
it uh, can mill you creatures. It can also you also find you your black source. It's very good in this deck. This pack is stacked. I have Elite Inquisitor and Fiend Hunter, so I, ha I could have had a pretty good um, white deck, but you know, I really wanted to play Spider Spawn, and I think this deck is very good. It's also an, an, an it fills up the graveyard too. You, if you so if you mill a creature, you transform it. Which is not always what you want to do, but you don't have to attack with this guy. It becomes a 5 1 that if it doesn't attack, it transforms back tapped. So you don't have to attack, but you have the option. This deck can be pretty aggressive sometimes because you could play a lot of creatures. I'm up to 12 creatures now. I'd like some more armored scabs if possible. I would maybe like a memory stone. And what the hell? <laughs> I could have had two bloodline keepers. This is so absurd. I'm gonna take Woodland Cemetery because um, it actually is pretty good in my deck. It helps me flashback spider spawning and forbidden alchemy. So, but <sighs> I, mean, I could have had such an insane deck if I had played black instead. But I guess there was no way of knowing that. And I, I played a draft earlier where I, when I also opened Bloodline Keep, I had to pass it. So, um, and another Rune Shatters pack. So I have a choice between Avacyn's Pilgrim and Self of a Cultist. Both pretty good. The uh, Pilgrim taps for mana, which can be pretty good. The uh, Occultist mills me. It's kind of hard. I don't know. This deck doesn't really need that much mana, actually. I mean, you need seven to flashback spider spawning, but I'm gonna take the Occultist. Just think the mill is gonna be great. And here there is nothing. Could take Grave Bramble, but I. I don't want to play grave, another grave ram. I'm gonna take naturalize for the sideboard because I want to be able to destroy Curse of Death's Hold. Yeah, this pack has not gone that great, but we still have a good deck, I think. And looking for some more creatures. Woodland Cemetery is sweet because it's a free source of black. It doesn't even mess up my account for green mana. So I, I, I thought about hate drafting Bloodline, but I don't think I need to do that. Well, this is not great, but I'm gonna take Crystal Outcast. It's much better than the Spider, for example. I don't like to pass another rolling Templar, but there's not much I can do. I would probably play a Delver of Secrets if I got one. I guess now I kind of wish I took Avacyn's Pilgrim because playing this guy on a turn earlier is good. Good value. Krallenhorde Vantons. I don't even know what kind of language that is, but we'll see. Yeah, I already have two Grey Brambles, so I don't really need three. Ooh, oh my god, this is insane. So I get Armored Scab, would, I would so love to play this guy, but Splinter Fright is insane in this deck. He is as big as you have creatures in your yard and he mills you two every turn. You, can, you sometimes can die to him, but I do have a Stitches Apprentice, so I can maybe sacrifice him. So this is sad that I have to play, that both these cards are in the same, but Splinter Fright is also a win condition, and I, I'm a little short on win conditions. I have just one Spider Spawn, so I would like one more win condition. It makes my deck worse against um, middle decks, and, and this guy is risky, but as I said, I... I like to be able to win the game also. Ok, 
Okay. There is nothing here I want. I'm gonna take the check land just for fun. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I wanna splash Angel of Flight Alabaster or something. Woodland Sleuth is very bad. Especially in this deck when you end up with a lot of bad creatures in your deck. You fill your creatures with a lot of bad creatures, so you get one back at random. So, and it, it's very rare that you get to trigger the Morbid, so it's a very bad card. I could have hate drafted Curse of the Bloody Tome, maybe. So I'm looking to round out my deck with some more creatures, so I have a choice between One-Eyed Scarecrow and Battleground Geist. Uh, one is very good defensive creature, and one is a good attacker. I think I'm gonna take the one-eyed scarecrow. It's, I mean, this deck can struggle sometimes against uh, flyers, so and it also blocks intimidate guys. So, don't know if I'm gonna play this rune shatter's pipe, but I can board it in against a deck which is uh, I have could have a trouble winning against. Don't like green twist at all. Because it doesn't do anything, I'm gonna replace one of these Kinder Catch with Hollow Hand Scan. I'm not gonna play the Rune Repetition either now. I mean, it gets back Spider Spawning, but that's not enough. So I think I wanna play 17 lands since I have two Mulches and a Deranged Assistant. So that's fine. Really sad that I had to pass the Armored Scab, but I just think Splinter Fright. It's better. And garbage. Brain Rebel could be annoying. Yeah. Whatever. It's a mine rot on legs. It also has intimidate. <laughs> it's a funny card. Um yeah, this pike is interesting. To have a um, decent amount of spells. Take out Interloper. Did pass a Bloodline Keeper in that direction, so I, I rather cut the black card. It's also the best of those, I think. Although, maybe I should have cut Ancient Grudge. It could be annoying against me. Ancient Grudge is not a high pick, though. And I don't really care that much if someone boards in. Ancient Grudge against me, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I guess I'll take out that, it could be annoying. And that. And that's actually very happy that I get to cut this card, because this actually gives your opponent creatures protection from spiders. And then it can attack you even through a spider spawn. So one annoying thing is that I didn't get a gnaw to the bone. That makes me sad because Nought to the Bone just makes it impossible to lose to um, aggressive decks. So I, I'm, I'm, unhap I'm not very unhappy I didn't get a um, Nought to the Bone. So I could play one more card. I think I'm just maybe play as Kinder Catch. It's not great, but it's a 6 6 for 6 and it's a creature, so. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna play uh, 17 lands with two mulch drinks assistant. So I'm a little, s very, s actually very sad that I didn't get a note to the bone. So now I'm gonna have to rely on spider spawn and creating a lot of blockers. Yeah, it's bad. Very bad I didn't get note to the bone. But, what are you gonna do? So I could lose to an aggressive deck. So this counts as a green mana. I'm gonna play one swamp. Because I wanna have two black sources for spider spawning. Um, yeah. Also think...
So now I have nine green sources. I should be fine. So the way I could lose is if I mill both my black sources and my spider spawning. But then again, I do have a lot of defensive guys in my deck. So yeah, this looks okay. Let's just see how many multi-bones did I pass? Um, so here's my draft. So now I can search. Okay, so I only passed one second pack. So there wasn't much I could have done, actually. So yeah, this is my deck, and I will see you for round one.